Hello world, I'm Alan. And in this video, I'm gonna update the label for my bot so that it shows me an ID, but also the fuel level for it. And uh, this is just gonna be kind of a let's play video where I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do this yet, but we'll, uh, we'll play around with it and figure it out. First up, check out the bot. Currently says, hello, I'm Robot Zero. I'm gonna go into VS Code and Robot Zero is this directory right here. And I've gotta start up that Lua file. So I think the first thing that I wanna do is set this right here and we can do print fuel dot and it's gonna be turtle dot get fuel level and close that so now when we go into the bot and reboot we break it oops turtle get fuel level what's happening print fuel wait why is that broken one more time oh I added two dots there that's what it is. Got it. So now we're saying, hello, I'm robot zero. Fuel is a whole bunch because this is the play world or the prototype world. And I put a whole bunch of fuel in there. So let's do that. Now what I want to do is update the label as well. Cause right now the label is just showing us the ID. I want to show the fuel and we'll do that on startup just like this, where we go OS set computer label ID is that. And then we're going to do mm, fuel. We'll do the same thing turtle get fuel level save that and now if we reboot fuel level uh we need to have a space in there too okay it's out of space right here i'm not sure if i want to have the word fuel in there i think it's fine but maybe we'll change that in a second reboot one more time look at the bot that's not bad maybe we put a dash in there Reboot again. Yeah, see, I just don't kind of don't kind of don't like that. Reboot. No, not reboot. We want to go to here. I think I'm actually just going to do this. I'm going to take out the fuel part here and just put a colon right here. Like, I'll know what this means. And that's really kind of the important thing. So if we reboot one more time. There we go. ID zero and then the number after it. So that's not really the ID because that number is going to change as the fuel changes, but it's fine for this, I think. Now, the other thing that we need to do to make this work well is we need to add something in our library for the fuel level. So I'm gonna do a new file and I'm gonna call this id.lua. And I'm gonna make local ID and send that to a table and then return that ID because we need to return this as a function or return this as a table. So if we do function id.update, we need to do that same this. I think I can just do this exact same thing. So if we save that, we can then go, let's go look at, so I've got test bulldozer running here, which also has move forward in it. So if move forward, can that call, so that's in the library, can it call another library file? So if I do local ID equals, it's gonna be require, library dot ID. We'll see if that crashes. Test bulldozer. Hasn't crashed yet, but it has also hasn't called move yet. Test bulldozer is currently waiting 15 seconds before it does anything. Now it's only gonna wait one second. See if it crashes. Okay, it's not updating, but that's fine. We haven't actually called the update statement yet. So in move, can we then do this move forward and then can we do ide.update right here ah stop it stop it uh let's just try it right now there we go perfect update as it goes now a trick with this is going to be if i don't use that move forward or move something else or use something else, it will not update that. But I guess I'm probably gonna use move forward basically all the time. Like that's the purpose of that function. Cause if I'm moving the bot forward, I need to make sure that its path is clear. And so if it's doing that, it's gonna call that function. Cause that function digs out all the stuff above it or in front of it or above it. If the, if gravity falls, if gravity falls, if gravel falls. Yeah, cool. I think that'll do it. So nice, good little robot. Yeah, that'll actually wrap it for this one. Pretty quick. 
but that did what we needed to do, so we don't need to do anything else with it. Actually, wait, I just realized something. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense to have this ID and the set ID and the fuel level. In here, if we're always gonna be calling it from the fuel, from the go forward, we could actually just do this right here and just paste it right there and that'd be fine. Let me delete this file and then delete this. Yeah, because we're always calling forward and we're all just using this to go forward because that's our way to go forward. We just put this right here. It's good to go. Now that'll do it. Have a good one. We'll see you soon. Till then, take care. Be kind.